A Lenore County man is one step closer to possible freedom today. After spending more than 20 years in prison, Howard Dudley is getting a second chance to prove his innocence. Dudley was sentenced to life in prison after a judge found him guilty of molesting his daughter. Now a judge is rehearing the case years after his daughter recanted her testimony. WNCT's Zora Stevenson spent the day at the Lenore County Courthouse and has more on today's testimony. Today was the start of a new beginning for Howard Dudley, a man who's claimed his innocence from the start by his side, a family who believes him and says it's time for him to come home. He'd rather stand there for the rest of his life before he would admit that he did such a heinous crime. Yeah. A family walked into the Lenore County Courthouse Tuesday morning, hopeful, confident, and nervous all at the same time. Their loved one, Howard Dudley, is getting a second chance. He always declared his innocence, and I truly believe him. Last year, a judge agreed to rehear Dudley's case, and Tuesday marked the start of that process. Attorneys spent hours presenting evidence and questioning witnesses. This all comes two decades after Dudley was sentenced to life in prison for molesting his daughter. Four months after his sentencing, his daughter, Amy Moore, recanted her testimony and said the whole thing was a lie. During Tuesday's hearing, Moore once again told judges her dad never raped her. She answered questions for nearly an hour and told the court she was raped as a child, but not by her father. And through everything, Everything the family says Dudley has stayed positive. He stood firm and faithful that the day would come when he would be vindicated. Dudley's family says they know this is a long process and they'll continue to support him the whole way through. I'm just hoping that this will be over quickly and I'm hoping that uh, when it's all over, it would be great if he could walk out with us when we walked out. So we're looking forward to that. During today's hearing, Dudley's attorneys talked about how releasing Dudley wouldn't just bring him freedom, it would free his daughter as well. In Kinston, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. This case is far from over. The judge will continue the hearing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.